up Aquarius is crystal with one little crystal tarot and this is your incoming energy for the month of October if this is your first time tuning in welcome I'm crystal I'm an intuitive tarot reader and for those of you returning welcome back thank you guys for all of your likes your shares subscribes I appreciate all the love I really do like I've said before I appreciate you guys how could I forget? I just hit 200 subscribers. We do enjoy watching the channel grow. It's beautiful to me. This is my baby. Okay, this is one of my babies. My other baby is my podcast. But anyway, link to that is listed in the description box below. So check that out. So Aquarius, y'all had the most views, I believe, last time. Most views and most likes, I think. So, I'm starting off with you guys. This is the incoming energy for the month of October. Alright, Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, what do we have for you for the <coughs> incoming energy of October? Let's see. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have coming in? Please note that this is a general reading, so messages in this reading may not resonate with you, okay? Uh, if they do, cool. Please hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I do post a video, okay? I've had so many cards to jump. Aquarius, so many cards to jump. I feel like somebody's loud, somebody's got something to say. Um, maybe without tact as well, is what I feel. You have Ace of Water in reverse. I'm using two decks. This first deck is the Tarot deck of Orisha. And then I'll be clarifying with my Miss Cleo deck. Okay, the top line will be the energy that is on a surface level or a physical level or what appears to be going on. And the bottom line will, will clarify that, okay? That will be like deeper emotions even deeper introspection okay you've got six of water in reverse somebody's in their feelings you got four of air in the center here You got the insulated prisoner in reverse. Awesome. I love that. Last card for the top line Aquarius, you have three of water. Aquarius, we're gonna go ahead and clarify. Let's see what we got. Clarifying three of water here, we have Knight of Cups. You have a lot of water energy here. You guys could be connected with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But I'm getting a lot of emotions, a lot of different emotions here. Aquarius. You got the Empress. Okay, Aquarius. Looking good, looking good. You got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Let me tell y'all something. This is crazy. This is crazy. Because you got the Ace of Cups in reverse, right? And you got the Ace of Water in reverse. These are the same cards. These are the same cards, basically. They showed up twice. <laughs> This is interesting. This is so interesting. Okay, hold on. Okay, four of wands flipped over. Four of wands just uh, revealed itself. So I have to take that as a jumper because that flipped right over. Right over. Okay, we'll set that to the side there. I want to say the last reading that I did for y'all in September, um, this was... It was something about it's okay to let somebody love you. But I feel like some of y'all are turning it down. You're turning it down. You're like, mm-mm, nope. 
I am done. I am through. Somebody is trying to make some moves on you. Someone is, uh, I get half ass offers. Somebody's making a half ass offer, and you're just like, mm -mm, I am over it. I am done. Okay, you got two of swords, clarifying six of water. And last card that we have here, Aquarius, is strength. So the center of your reading, you have four of air clarifying, I mean clarified by ace of cups in reverse. Okay, this is the center of your reading. So what this tells me is that <clears throat> you guys are taking time out to recover. Um, you're taking time out to kind of even things out a bit. I feel like some of you are changing your priorities. You are... Glasses is just dirty as fuck. But yeah, you guys are taking the time to get back to yourselves to figure out what it is that is good for you, what's best for you, instead of just settling for half ass shit. Okay, this could be a relationship, this could be um, with any area of your life. Okay, you take it how it resonates. It looks like um, you guys are taking a step back, right? I feel like you've been so active for so long with the situation that you are finally taking a rest like i feel like maybe you were you felt under attack possibly or you felt like you were just catching hell from this place and that place and you know shit just wouldn't let up for you okay but i feel like you're at a turning point um you're in the recovery stage all right um i think the first thing or the first step was realizing that okay there was an uneven exchange here um <clears throat> being the fact that this shows up twice this card ace of water ace of cups um which like i said is basically the same cards being the fact that it showed up twice here this is important like the fact that there was an unequal give and take it it really bothered you like somebody it felt it feels like somebody either stole from you whether it was like money time energy like somebody was literally using you as a vessel of uh energy juice <laughs> like i don't they were sucking you dry and um you finally raped prisoner in reverse clarified by the empress you guys are realizing your worth you're realizing what you bring to the table if you uh haven't realized that already you're realizing it coming um in october that's it that's the forthcoming energy some of you are maybe aware of that already but you just needed a little reminder because maybe you you know got carried away and slipped off into um a situation where it just wasn't like uh, it hooked you in some type of way you know you, you were just caught slipping basically and um now you see it for what it really is and um it's made you stronger for sure with the strength card being here and like i said you guys are in the stage where you are reevaluating, um holding yourself accountable for the things that have went wrong um not totally not like in a bad way not like blaming yourself or feeling guilty but just you know owning up to your shit and like you know what i have more power than this um i can turn this thing around you know what i'm saying you're grabbing the will okay grabbing the will and you're understanding your worth you're understanding what you bring to the table like i said and um just realizing that life is really nothing to be played with time is nothing to be played with and um for that you could be reaping some benefits here with the three of water uh, clarified by the knight of cups so there's possibly a better offer on the table for you something coming forthcoming um you know after this loss 
I feel like something is a uh, is a uh, trying to make its way to you um for that time that was wasted now if this is a relationship uh, that we're talking about um it's a possibility that um this relationship can get restored um like if this was something that happened in a distant past not i wouldn't say recent i don't think that the situation would turn around this quickly if that were the case but um if this was a situation like in the past um where there wasn't an equal give and take or there was just a lot of um toxicity it's a possibility that um you could be reaping some rewards today like somebody could be coming back to try to extend an olive branch of some sort to you um not everybody that's not gonna resonate with everybody but some people you wouldn't know okay tap into that to that intuition all right but for others of you this is something new this is something fresh i feel like um something very stable with this um four of wands being uh an influence here on the side this is some stable energy this is something that uh will bring in um calls for a celebration um I get I really get celebratory energies you guys are gonna be celebrating something um it could be something small something big I don't I don't know um but I get victory like you there, there is there's victory coming um here in October that was pretty quick but I mean it was very to the point very to the point very consistent energy here Aquarius I'm gonna go ahead and get into your chakra insight Oracle card all right Let's see. For those of you who are unfamiliar with chakras, um, there are seven of them, okay? And there are different energy points within our body, okay? And when they are clear, the energy can flow through smoothly and we are in alignment, okay? Um, when they're not in alignment, they are blocked. Something has it blocked, okay? There's some sort of energy that isn't being released properly. There's a misalignment, okay? And sometimes, oh shoot, excuse me, y'all. When you have a block chakra, usually um, symptoms could reveal themselves in the physical. It could be physical sickness, like a, a cold or um, any type of sickness, really, not just a cold, any type of illness. Um, but they could be connected to uh, one of your seven chakras. Usually, like if you have a headache, there could be um, a blockage with your third eye chakra um sore throat coughing um lack of communication not being able to express yourself usually there's a blockage within your throat chakra and you know stuff like that okay you got compassion Aquarius okay so of course this isn't this isn't one of the chakras but this is related to the heart chakra Okay, and the number 28 may be significant to you. Maybe some of you were born January 28th. Um, I don't know, but the number 28 could be significant to you. Look it up, okay? All right, but compassion, it talks about caring, empathy, acceptance, gentleness, okay? So, um, before I even... Do I have the book? Yeah. Before I even read out of the book, I'm going to just go ahead and try to tap in intuitively. I feel like with... Gosh. Okay. With the cards that came out in your spread, I feel like it's important for you to stay gentle like i said stay gentle um because maybe you've been drugged through the mud with a situation or you feel used and abused in some type of way um it's important to still stay open not like totally let your guard down and be vulnerable not like that i mean it takes balance you know what i'm saying this situation isn't to harden you okay but yeah the situation isn't what you went through it wasn't supposed to um, make you or turn you into a shell of a person, you know? It, it wasn't, that, that wasn't why it happened, okay? You had to learn boundaries. 
you had to learn to be okay with yourself or to you had to learn how to love yourself and sometimes unfortunately the best way to learn how to love yourself is to not be loved properly by other people okay that's just that's the reality for some people so you had to be shown how to set boundaries for yourself you had to be shown you know what doesn't what isn't supposed to go down what you know you had to learn the red flags in a situation and like i said this does not just have to be with a relationship this could be with any situation or any type of any type of relationship you know what i'm saying let's go ahead and look at the book okay in the book it says the latin word for compassion literally means co-suffering this card is not an invitation to suffer, but rather to allow yourself and others to rise up beyond sufferings through the light of genuine empathy and understanding. The call to compassion is a call to accept people and situations for who they are and where they are at. Okay, as we let go of judgment and the need to fix a situation or to label things as good or bad, we begin to realize that every situation carries with it a gift that we have that we each have unique lessons to learn boom so like i was saying you had to learn how you wanted to be treated you had to learn how to set these boundaries and as it said it wasn't to it wasn't the, the intention wasn't to make you suffer okay um you just had to learn other people's perspective and other people's you have to learn other people's story and what they're playing out. You know, sometimes it's, it's not personal. Everybody has uh, a purpose in this life, whether they realize it or not. Okay, um, that's that's just what it is, and it played out in a way where, you know, it was still to your benefit. It was still to your benefit regardless of what, of what happened. If you realize that you were done wrong in the situation, or you got the short end of, of the stick. You learn. That's the benefit. By judging or focusing on each other's faults, we contribute to keeping each other stuck in those places. Often, our lack of acceptance of other people stems from a deeper judgment of ourselves. Okay, so that's another thing. Like I was saying, the situation wasn't too hard on you or make you a shell of a person. Because once you do that, you haven't learned the lesson. And nine times out of ten, you're going to attract the same type uh, situations regardless of how you try to avoid it it will more than likely make, make its way back to you okay so that's why balance is important I'm not preaching i'm not because you know I, like i said i'm not perfect i'm just being a vessel here i'm i'm being used is what i feel okay <laughs> all right you don't want to carry around that hurt that pain that disappointment because it causes you to bleed on other people you know when you feel shorted you when you feel betrayed or whatever by a situation or, or a person um, you don't want to carry that knife around and bleed on other endeavors or other situations that you get into. You want to take that knife out and, and wrap that wound up, clean it up and wrap it up and, and heal, okay? Because it causes you to, like I said, bleed on other people. And by bleeding, I mean, it causes you to judge. And you judge, you're judging from that wound, okay? And not everybody deserves to be judged because you were wounded okay that wound was somewhat your fault too okay so you have to take accountability for that okay instead of just like i said bleeding on other people okay not fussing at you aquarius as we learn to see and treat each other in our highest light we help open the passage for each to find his or her way up into the sun so before you judge someone for their shortcomings or mistakes, take a moment to genuinely feel what it's like to stand in their shoes. Experience the world as they might and allow yourself, oh, sorry. Experience the world as they might and allow yourself to drop into a space of compassion, okay? See them rising up and shining in full glory. See yourself in the same way. 
okay well hold up because i'm not sure if i agree with that but if that resonates for you that resonates for you but me personally um you know like i said i i read intuitively too i don't just go off of book definitions and and stuff like that i honestly feel like you know yes compassion is important and it is important to step in other people's shoes but don't see them as you see yourself because everybody doesn't have your same type of spirit okay you know but um, definitely, definitely just be open to um, their, their perspective and, and, you know, the storyline that they're playing out in your life. Be open to that, okay? Like I said, um, sometimes you have villains in your story, you know? Every good movie, every, um, every superhero has a villain. You know, um, they have a nemesis. So, any type of situation or person, you know, that's the villain or the nemesis or the kryptonite in your story, you know, it serves for a purpose. And that purpose is to make you stronger, okay? To make you wiser. So, you have to look at it like that and have compassion for that person. As a matter of fact, if you want to thank them for doing whatever it is they did, you know, because if they hadn't done it, it would have took you longer to learn the lesson, okay? Just saying, that's the positive, that's the light in the dark, okay? Talk to yourself in a loving way. Encourage yourself. Look for the positive in your life. Remember that you are human and you are learning, growing, and evolving each day. Honor yourself and others with the flower of compassion. So yeah, like I said, don't hold that guilt in your heart. Don't don't hold that that pain. Don't again let these unfortunate situations turn you into a shell of a person. Make sure that your heart chakra is is open so that that energy can flow in and out and you know circulate in a very healthy way for you. All right, Aquarius, that's all I have for you guys today. If messages in this reading resonated with you, please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I post a video, okay? If you guys would like a more tailored reading to your situation, please, please hit the description box below. Details on booking are listed there. And as always, if no one has told you today, know that I love you, I love you, I love you, Aquarius. All right, peace, love, and light.